Well, gone are the days of outdoor gardens, but that doesn't mean it's your chance, or you've lost your chance to enjoy local products. Here with the dirt, today's sponsor, The Land Connection. And we have Joan Jack, Farmer's Market Manager, back with us. Okay, so uh, lots of people, their gardens are pretty much done. So that yes. means it's time to let the professionals take over. Yes, and so season extension can happen, which are hoop houses or caterpillar tunnels, and that can extend the season of all kinds of crops. Um, but there are still a lot of storage crops available at the market, like butternut squash, all kinds of winter squash, potatoes, onions, garlic, those things store if you store them in the right temperature. Um, but there are a lot of fresh things too, like greens, kale, um, fresh cut herbs like cilantro and parsley. So all kinds of fresh green things still at the market. Well, yeah, let's talk about the market because it has mm -hmm. obviously moved indoors to Lincoln Square Mall. Mm -hmm. Let's kind of go over the details of the market and how it works for people who may have slept in a little bit on Saturday. <laughs> yes, yes, and come in any of the doors of Lincoln Square. The main part is in the high court and that's where Santa is. And oh, be, Santa's arrived. Santa is there every Saturday. It's great. And there's gonna be a whole bunch of kids activities with Santa this Saturday. Um, come in any door. There's a whole bunch of craft vendors now, and so we're full out, out into the east and west hallways out by the food court into there, and there's a bunch of great local vendors selling crafts, and then our produce, and then there's meat and eggs. Um, we're there 8 to noon on Saturday at Lincoln Square Mall. So what is the difference, if you had to say, between the outdoor market and the indoor market? How much does it really change? Oh. Besides the, the food and the it, produce that you're going to be finding. Right. The produce changes. The selections get a little bit lower during the winter. But really, it's the same staff that you see outside in the summer. It's so much, it is such a... I want to say easier way to shop because you're not dealing with the wind, the rain, the sun, all of these outdoor elements coming in on you. You just are inside and shopping, but you're supporting some local small businesses. Yes, here. and yeah. most of those same local vendors yes. that you can find in the summer. Yep. All right, if you had to pick just like kind of your top few things to shop for oh gosh, this Saturday. I should have known. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's so many good things. There are a bunch of good potters who are coming to the market on Saturday with good mugs, great Christmas presents, um, good wreaths, fresh wreaths to hang for holiday decorations. And the Central Illinois Bakehouse always has good sweets, so I always get one oh, of their yeah. sweets when I'm there. We're mm -hmm. big fans of the Central yes. Illinois Bakehouse and <laughs> their partnership with Picara and all yes. of that. All right, it's happening every Saturday. Do we mm -hmm. take a break here? We do, so we're not uh, meeting on Saturday 25 December or 1 January. So there is a two week break and then we come back and we go all the way to April 30th. Okay, and will so Santa there. be there the entire time of the market? Yes, he'll okay. be, yes. I, th uh, I think he comes at around 10 and you can get your photo taken with him and then do some crafty stuff by Santa's throne. Just yeah. make a whole morning of it. <laughs> That's right, it is throne. super fun. Yes. <laughs> It's because Santa needs a throne. That's for right. Sure. That's right. <laughs> well, we appreciate you being here. Thank you for having me. It's always a great time to support local and eat fresh and eat local. And that's what you can do at the Winter Farmers Market there at Lincoln Square Mall. We appreciate the Lane Connection sponsoring our segment and all the information that you um, need to know about the market. We'll have it at CILiving.tv. Coming up, we're going to get 